Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to set up Siri on your iPad Pro. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the settings app and then inside the settings we're going to scroll down until we see right here Siri and search. Tap into this one and once you tap into this one what I want you to do is you see here press stop button for Siri. If this is off you want to turn it on. So in order to activate the Siri uh, uh, command what we're going to do is we're just going to long press on the power button so press and hold not press and release if you press and release the power button you can see it's going to lock the uh, ipad screen so what you're going to do is you're going to press and hold the power button and once you see siri activate i'll show you how that looks like then you can release the power button let's do that together three two one press and hold keep on holding and once you see the siri icon right there you're good to go so what this does is it's going to accept a voice command so i'm going to do an example uh, what is five times five just give it a bit you can see it's now loading and you can see it's going to show the answer for the question now once the answer has shown up what you can do is either tap on the empty space to dismiss siri if that doesn't work what you're going to do is we're going to activate siri again so we'll just press and hold again the power button once siri activates we can release it so we'll do another command let's say uh, what is five divided by five plus three and then we'll wait for it to load up the answer here. And so what you can do is you can just click the power button. So not press and hold like earlier, press and release like you're going to lock the iPad like so. And you can see that will dismiss Siri right here. Now, once you have Siri set up, there is also the option to set up the Hey Siri command. So how this works is if it's off, turn it on. It will ask you to say a bunch of voice commands. So just speak out those voice commands nice and clear. And then what you can do is you can say the following words. Hey Siri, and you're gonna see Siri will activate right here. So make sure when you say the Hey Siri command that you're speaking loud and clear. If you're speaking like quietly, uh, the iPad has detection so that it will, you know, not just, it won't activate the uh, uh, the Siri command. So we'll just uh, say, what is two plus two? And we'll wait for it to load up here. Two plus and there two you go, you can four. see, it does the calculation right here. Now inside of the Siri settings, there are a bunch of options we can change. So allow Siri when locked. Uh, let's say you don't want someone screaming, hey Siri, and for it to trigger your device when it's locked. So I do recommend you turn that off. Turn off allow Siri when locked, we'll just turn that off. And so you're gonna see language. So language refers to what phrases and words Siri will recognize. So I have it set to English United Kingdom and in the UK, you know, words that we say in the UK are different compared to the US. So I'll leave it there. If you want to set yours to English United States, if you're from the US, set it and etc. Then the Siri voice you can choose as well. If we go back here, see the Siri responses. And so spoken responses when silent mode is off. Silent mode is this here. So if you uh, swipe down from the top right, like so, you see this, this is the silent mode. So not that that's the silent mode here if the silent mode is on you can have it so that spoken responses will always be set when silent mode is off or only with hey siri only with hey siri is of course the voice command which is hey siri you can see for siri has been activated there so let's go back and you're going to see announce calls you can have this option on so let's say a facetime call something like that you can always have siri speak out the announcement you can set that to always or headphones only, whatever you would like to set there. Announce notifications, you can also set this up as well. It's useful if you're now away from the iPad and you have headphones in, and you want to hear those notifications be announced to you. My information, so if you tap into that, you can select your contact, uh, which is your personal contact, and it will just have all the information stored. So in some cases, it will refer to your name, all that good stuff. Siri dictation history, so if you want to delete you know, your data, you tap on that right there. And then you have the option here, content from Apple. So this is Apple suggested content. You can have this on or off. Same with suggestions from Apple. You can have notification suggestions. You can have app library su uh, suggestions. App library is this tool right here. So sometimes you'll have a suggested tab and you can have that, uh, you see right here, you can have that on or off. If go back to settings, uh, you have all these options here as well. And then you have individual app options. So if you want to uh, have, you know, BitLife show as a suggestion, you can have that on. Uh, if let's say you use this app a lot, it will be suggested more, etc. And there's everything you can do when it comes to setting up Siri. So.
that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.